I'd love to have a custom Lego minifigure review from Brick Tactical. If you want to check out my videos, click right up here or links be down below. This is like the second part of my uh, perk machines that I just did earlier this week as of this video. Um, I had to split up because just the perk machines were so many. I think there were, like I said, there were 13 new ones. If you haven't watched the video, you can check it out. It will be up here and down there. So this is the rest of it. Um, he released a bunch of new zombie stuff. I got the two head packs that I didn't have along with the little munchies pack. And then the two limited zombies, um, the German or the Nazi zombies, whatever you I call them the COD zombies. So we'll get into all that. Um, he did throw in some awesome freebies right here. So some cool weapons and Coke cans. How do you know I like Coke? Umber Tactical. That's, that's my mixer, man. So we're going to stack these up really quick. So he gave me, um, I got in the freebies, I got four Coke cans. And these are actually pretty cool. Just need to add some flat tops to make them can. So they do say cola on the one side or on both sides. And these are on the um, cylindrical can pieces, so these are on red ones, of course. So some nice Coca-Cola cans. And then I believe these two are, uh, yep, Lug Root Beer. So I think Mug is the, the Root Beer brand. Um, but you can see these are uh, Root Beer cans. I can, you need to add um, smooth studs to the top to make them look like a can. And those are on both sides as well. So some cool food items, actually, that helps with, like, apocalypse-themed stuff. Next, we have a Halo Plasma Sword, or Energy Sword. I forget which they called them in the game. But these are the OP Swords. This one's cool because it's the translucent blue. And he makes these. They are pretty pointy on the top. But they look really nice. And then we got a rocket launcher with some cool swirl mix to it. You can see it has a little bit of white right here. And in the front, it's gray, black swirl mixed into it. It looks really cool. I actually think these might be some of the few swirl weapons I have. But this is a cool... I don't actually know if I have the rocket launchers or not from him. And then we got three AKs in three different styles. Um, I do have his newer, this is the newer AK, I do have it in overmolded black and brown, or gunmetal and brown, if I remember. But you can see, this one's cool, black and uh, yellow swirl. And then a gray, or silver, this one's silver with white, um, like, ghostly color, I don't really know what to call them. But it's a cool, uh, mixture see a lot of silver on this side and then the last one is uh, just like an all like almost translucent AK it looks like this would be on the same spur as the the previous like the silver white one this one looks really cool so some awesome freebies thank you I appreciate them now let's get into the head packs first because I'm going to be using some of them let's slide all the zombies out the way So to start, we're going to do the uh, Ski Mask head pack. I didn't have the new ones. I do have all the zombie ones and the horror ones. So Ski Mask one. See, this is one of them in the mask. Comes with 10 heads. Uh, it's a good deal for 10 heads. The price is not bad at all. They come in the standard clamshell packaging. With a custom card. Let's get the card out the way. You can see. Nice little card. I'm going to stack them up like I do. So there are some cool ones. There's a the the leaf one. We got like a Deadpool style one. USA, I believe there's a like a Call of Duty Ghost one, Supreme. Just randomly stacking them so they're in no specific order. And there we go. So starting at the top, we have a clown one. This one reminds me of like this could be going in the payday pack, but you can see it is on a ski mask, so it does have the lines. Of course, his eyes are open. Next one is that Deadpool-esque one. You can see, again, it is still the ski mask one. Black around the eyes. You can see where the mouth is, where you breathe. Of course, open on the eyes. Next one is very Joker-esque. You can see the smile, which stretches up to the sides. Again, ski mask. And then the uh, design around the eyes, the black. Next one is, the, of course, the weed leaf or the pot leaf one. He does have a bunch of stuff in that line. 
You can see the mouth is open on this one. It looks like the guy, I can't remember his name off YouTube, he wears a pink mask. So what you're banging with Shorty, <laughs> that one, that meme one, that's what it reminds me of. Next one is the Supreme one, again, same style, just different uh, color and detail on it. You can see the Supreme logo and their diamond design going up and down. Next one is the USA Ski Mask. Again, you can see the red and white stripes and the stars and blue right there open on the eyes. This does have a different style compared to these ones. You can see it's more just all wide eyed open instead of singular eyes or this one. Next one is the Bloody Face Mask, which actually I really like this one. This one can be used for zombies, military, anything, you gang, anything like that really. Um, the blood splatter looks really nice, and again, it looks like it's stained on the ski mask, which is white, so, nice one right there. This one is a camo ski mask, it looks like. You can use it for military, of course. Next one is, um, I think this is supposed to be like the flag, it's supposed to be black, and then you'd have the stars and stripes, like in the black, black and white version of the flag. I could be wrong, it could just be the design he used. And last one is the, like, Cod Ghost, which I really like. So some awesome heads from the ski pack. I'm planning on using a few of these for sure, especially the blood one. Grab a base plate. Throw them on there. There we go. So those are those ones. Next ones that I didn't have were the gas mask head pack. Again, comes with 10. Prices are really good for these. You can see them all right there. Get the card out the way. Again, standard card. This one actually looks pretty cool. Get a base plate. So again, just random order. It looks like there's... No, there's not two of each color. But there is different styles. Just going to stack them all like I do. I don't know the errors of these gas masks. But I know some look a little more modern than the other ones. Let's get them all stacked up. The black ones look a little hard to see because the printing is, of course, black and gray. So here they are. So starting at the top, we got tan. This one looks like a pretty standard uh, modernized uh, gas mask. Got the tank right here. Looks kind of like you'd wear under a hazmat suit. It looks like it'd fit pretty well under those. Next one is a white one. Of course, it's got two eye holes instead of the full visor on the front. And then it has the can on the front and sides. Next one's on a, a dark brown or, or dark tan. This one looks pretty cool. You can see in the front. This one looks like, like a Chernobyl vibe to me. It'd be the ones that have the, the big back and have the two dangling in the front. Next one, this one looks like, it reminds me of like the Call of Duty... Um, when you're on the ship, like the first mission. Again, a little hard to see. It's the gray and black on dark gray. Next one, I believe this is light gray. I do like this one as well. The big eyes, the can in the front. You can see where these straps connect right here on the sides. Next one's pretty cool. This one looks a little more futuristic. Again, it's a little hard to see. It's on black and it's the black printing. But you can see it kind of has like a Darth Vader-esque to me. Next one's on brown. This one looks similar to uh, this one right here. Just doesn't have the cut on the outside of it. Next one. This one is the one that's the cover, I believe, of the card. And this one's on light gray. Uh, the white one looks pretty futuristic, kind of an arctic vibe to me, just because it's on the white head. And then this one, this one for sure looks like the Call of Duty one, the mask. You can see the straps connecting on the sides. You have the can right here in the front. So some cool gas masks. Again, I can use these as well for any kind of zombie stuff or military. Put them on a base plate. And there we go. Uh, next, now we do have a few more heads. These were newer releases, and these are zombie heads, which are going to go with the zombie figs that I got. But these ones are newer. These were just separate, didn't come in a pack. Starting at the top, we do have a dead zombie, which is cool. So X on the eyes. Uh, pretty similar design to some of his few uh, previous ones, but this one does have the X. You can see a little bit blood splatters. Cheek design around the eyes. 
Next one, we kind of have like the nerdy zombie glasses. One could be an office worker or anything like that. Some blood dripping out of his mouth. The lenses aren't broken, which I did notice. You can see no cracks or shatters on there. Next one, got the cool zombie with the shades. Blood splatter right here on the side of the face. The no eye zombie. He's done designs like this, but he did either have one eye and the other. Um, but this one has no eyes. See the blood dripping from the face. The splatter is really nice. Now this zombie is a little curious for me. I like the design a lot actually because it's shot up in the face. But wouldn't this be a dead zombie if it's directly shot where the nose is? Or it could be like, uh, you know, buckshot or birdshot, anything. I guess more birdshot because it's smaller pellets. But this would be a dead zombie in my book. But some awesome zombie heads. I'm going to be putting these on the figures. Um, before I get to the just the half zombies, we're going to show the German zombies or the Nazi zombies, the COD zombies. That's These ones go with the perk machines. So you had two variants. This one only had nine, I believe. I was lucky enough to get one. I believe this might have been like the last one or one of the last ones. Um, you can see they're cold, frozen zombies. So these designs are the same on the faces, I believe. But this is um, just blue. The other one's light blue, I believe. Coming down to the chest and torso, you can see he's in a white outfit, so it'd be like a winterized zombie. You can see his ribs showing right here. I don't know if this design is similar to his regular standard German zombies. Uh, but you can see, instead of blood, it's blue. Instead of like the red one, red blood, it's blue. Splatter around the body, torso. Um, does printing go on the waist, so you can pull them apart, doesn't hurt it at all. And then coming down further, you can see some cuts in the legs, which do have the blue blood dripping down. Nothing on the sides. Blue hands, though, matches the face. And then to the back, it does have a couple bullet holes. Again, the blue blood, standard German uh, gear, of course, for this one. He's got some pouches on the front as well as the back. None on the back. And then nothing on the back of the legs. He did come with a custom molded helmet that Brick Tactical does make as well. And you can see how it sits on the figure. Happy that it's a white one that he included that instead of it being either like a mismatch or anything like that. I know he has a lot of different colors for these as well. So here's the other one. So this one is the gray variant. So I believe this is what the torsos look like but this one is just blue or the light blue compared to the standard gray of Zombies in Blood. So here he is. I believe, again, he is the same design. This one just shows up a little better because the dark gray torso and legs, it's easier to see the blood splatters because I'm pretty sure they're the same. So you can see right here, it's right there. But there's a lot more around the rib area that you can't see on the white, at least for on the camera. Along with the legs, you can see it a little better on the darker. But same design. Just light blue and dark gray instead of blue and white. I do like the bullet holes in the back or ooze in blood. But these for sure are going to be added to my zombie collection. Because I have, like I said, I have his previous German zombies or Nazi zombies, whatever you want to call them. Cod zombies. So the, uh, this one is sold out. I believe this one might still be on site. Uh, I checked, I think, yesterday when I was looking. So he might still be up there if you want to get him. I believe there's only 50 of these, maybe. But there was only 9 of the white ones. So those are probably gone. Now before getting to the zombies that I'm super excited for, we have his Munchies pack. Of course, this goes with the uh, leaf mask, ski mask. So in this pack, it comes with a bag of Munchies. It's like a bag of Doritos or chips. These are on a 2x2 two two smooth green tile. You can see munchies. Of course, you got the chips and the uh, signature leaf in the background. You can see that's on the tile. We have a, I believe this is the grinder. We have a grinder. Which has got the oregano in it. No, I mean, if you know, you know. <laughs> You can see it right there inside. Nothing on the back. So this is on just a smooth, uh, flat stud. We have a little... Uh, this would be like a dime baggie, I believe. And this is on a one-by-one -one smooth, clear uh, tile. And it's got the little 
Um, you know, it's got the nugs in there. Again, these videos are for fun, so. And if you know, you know. So we got a little dime baggie. And then we got a jar of it. So you can see the top or the lid has the leaf on it. And this is, again, a smooth stud. It's a black one. And then it's on a translucent headpiece. And you can see what's in the dime bag is also in the jar. I don't know if I like it where... I, know, I guess you couldn't see through it. So actually it works out that it's on the one side. Sometimes people will print and it... Like you'd look into it and you'd see it. But actually this this shows up pretty well, so... So a fun little munchies pack. I Like I said, I didn't get any of the torsos or legs, but I did get the ski mask. Now on to the exciting part. The zombies that he released. So these are like city zombies. Uh, we'll start with the firefighter right here. So these are just torsos and legs, arms of course, but no heads and no hats. So I already have my hats picked out. And the heads, I'm going to use these and previous Brick Tactical heads. So this one's a firefighter. It's very similar to a Lego firefighter. I don't know if I have, I do have one right here on hand. So you can see it has the little badge right here, which is destroyed on his. Of course, you have blood splatters. You have the reflective um, jacket. So you have the yellow and silver stripes. Of course, he did do leg printing compared to the standard Lego one, which is really nice. I do like the blood splatters. looks beat up. Of course, even near the lower part of the legs, you have the reflective parts. Nothing on the side of the body. Gray hands, which is good. I like that he included arms and hands. Same as this side. And then we do have some blood splatter on the top. A rip right here. And then we have the reflectors, which do look a little chewed up, which is awesome. Of course, it's an intentional design. I think a little bit on the front as well was chewed up, which is nice. So that's going to be our zombie firefighter. Uh, next one, which is a... Uh, fast food worker. This one is a it's gonna be a McDonald's fast food worker. You can see right there got the little arches um, So he's got his red outfit button up. Of course, you can see the yellow stripes going across the midsection collar on the shirt Very torn up rip look I'm gonna check really quick. I think he did different designs for the torsos and he did like the cuts and stuff That's good. I like that little detail doing different ones. You can see the blood splatter coming down to the waist You got some blood splatter on the legs a little bit of a tear right here. Of course, I have a red hat for this one. And then coming to the back, we have a ripped up collar. And then some more cuts. The yellow stripes going across. Chewed up edge of the shirt. So we got the fast food at McDonald's worker zombie. Next one. This one's funny. We have a UPS zombie worker. So a delivery truck driver. Uh, you can see he's wearing his uh, signature brown outfit. Of course, collar, undershirt's a little bloody. You can see the UPS logo right there. He's got a little pocket, some blood cuts everywhere, blood dripping down. One thing for these is the blood maybe could have been a little bit, a little bit more vibrant. Um, like a little more red, I guess, compared to the darker red. He does have some pockets on the pants, some tears in the pants as well, and a lot more blood dripping down. Nothing on the sides, gray hands, which is nice. And then to the back, you can see the UP, so the up, but the S looks like it was ripped off for many reasons. You can see some stitching right here. And some more uh, cuts and scratches with blood oozing out of them. Didn't find a brown hat, so I'm just going to use a black hat. I looked up UPS driver hats, and I, I don't have a brown Lego one, so I'm going to use a black one for his. Next one is going to be the Zombie Emmett. Of course, you know, like Lego Movie, he's the construction worker, so that's what we got right here. You can see his reflective outfit. Of course, he's wearing yellow, blue arms. You can see blue undershirt as well, which probably connects to the arms because this would be a vest. Some pockets. This is very similar. I looked at, I don't think I have one on hand. Um, I looked at Emmett's design. Very similar to, you can see cuts, blood splatters, ripped up vest right here near the waist. More blood splatter coming down further to the legs. You can see more cuts. The reflectiveness on the lower part of the legs. Again, nothing on the sides, but we do have blue arms, gray hands. Nothing on the side of the legs. And then to the back, of course, a collar. The reflective stripes, which are chewed up on the back a little more than you can see on the front. Some good blood splatters and some more ripping near the bottom of the vest or jacket. I do have a hard hat for him, so the red construction hats. Got that for this one. Next one. 
Of course, we got to have a doctor sick during the times. Or it could be a nurse, either one, doc, uh, doctor or nurse. Um, this one you can see uh, the zombie does have uh, a lanyard, which would be the name tag of the person. I think I'm doing this one as a female. I do have the female pack, and I believe one had a mask, so it fits for this one. You can see the ribs are showing right here. A lot more cuts. This one looks very bloody compared to the previous ones. Um, a lot more cuts and tears, like I said, the ribs showing. Blood on the legs, stitching, you can see the pockets right here. Nothing on the sides, we do have gray hands. Again, I'm very happy he added those in, or did those. Coming to the back, you can see the lanyard does have blood on it. Again, a huge scratch, there's a lot more blood on this figure. I guess it would be more intense in the hospital at the time, so. And then you can see some ripping near the bottom. So I do, I do, I'm picking a female for this one. I do have the hair piece for it as well. Next one, I like this one a lot. This is a prisoner one. So of course, um, with the prisoner one, there will be a cop one. But you can see he does have his number right here, which I believe is zero zero. Well, four twenty. <laughs> That's funny. I've got him. Was dropped him. Zero zero four twenty. I guess that works out with the munchies pack that I got. Um, but you can see he's wearing the orange jumpsuit. A lot of blood and scrapes, it looks like. This one would be nifty if it had bullet holes in it, like a convict in prison or something was escaping and it was a zombie and, you know, they shoot it up or something. Um, but you can see collar. Looks like there's some sweat near the top as well. Little pocket, of course, he's got his number coming down further. Pockets. The um, buttons go all the way down the seam, which is a little nice touch right there. You can see on the pant seam. A lot of blood splatters coming to the sides. Of course, nothing on the sides. And then to the back, you can see the number much better, 00420 or 00420, whatever you want to call it. It's got some gashes right here in the back. Collars chewed up, blood stain over the numbers. Don't know what face I want to use for this one yet, but I think I'm just going to have him bald. Next one to go with the prisoner is the police one, like I said. Here is. So this design is different from the Lego cop ones. I don't think I have a cop on hand that looks like this. But you can see his police badge right there. Of course, he's wearing a blue outfit. It looks more like a state trooper to me. Um, see pockets. He doesn't have too much blood on the torso, but on the legs, there's a lot, along with handcuffs. You can see his belt is all messed up. He does have a cut right there and on the collar, but on the body, it looks pretty clean on the front. Nothing on the sides, on the back. Again, not too much blood for this one, but I like that he made them all different. Some have more blood, some have less. So, splatter on the collar on the back. You can see some cuts right here, his belt. Nothing on the back of legs, like I said. So, pretty clean compared to, like, like let's say the construction worker. You can see the difference in them if it focuses. There we go. So, a lot more blood compared to a lot less blood, but that's nice, like I said. Uh, and I do have a white police hat for this one. Next one, we do have a pizza delivery boy. So not just a McDonald's employee, we got the pizza delivery boy. This one's looking a lot like the old pizza delivery boy set from so long ago. Came with him, I think it was a skater set, to be honest. Um, but you can see the little pizza logo right here. And then he had a white, he had a red and white uh, shirt, so you can see white right here, red on top. He does have a lot more blood. You can see cuts right here under his logo. Ripped up shirt at the bottom. Blood stain on the waist. Coming down further, he does have pockets. And then he does have ripped up, a lot of ripped up near the knees. So you can see the zombie skin underneath. And then coming to the back. Actually, you know what I just noticed? He has a pocket within a pocket like jeans do. Nice touch. On the back, we do have the collar. All ripped up and bleeding. We have some cuts right here. Again, white is stained with blood as well. And this one I have the red. Um, so I have the McDonald's one with the... I forgot what it is. I think it's a nice red one. And then this one's just the simple red ones. Or it might be white. I don't remember what I picked. But we got his hat. And the last zombie right here. Which kind of looks like just a casual... The arm's popping out. Um, like a casual... Just a casual city zombie button-up shirt. Could be an office worker. Looks a little more like a vest, actually, now that I'm looking at it with more detail. 
A lot of blood on this one compared to the others. You can see gray skin at the neck. Looks kind of like an office worker to me. Um, blood dripping down over the waist and coming down even further. You can see pockets on it. A big cut right here in the upper right thigh. More blood dripping down. Nothing on the sides. And on the back, we have the collar with blood. Again, big scratches right here. Cuts on the back through the vest and shirt. And then a ripped up waistline. Little Look, there's a little Amazon logo right here. A little happy smile. But super excited to get all the zombie heads and these characters finished. Love the um, German zombies, Nazi zombies, COD zombies, whatever you want to call them. Love the new ski masks and stuff like that. They're not too new, but new to me. Um, new zombie heads on point with these. So... Great job with all these. Can't wait to see what future Call of Duty Zombie, anything releases you have like that. Thank you for the freebies. Love the Munchies pack. I'm going to probably use that in my city stuff just just because. But um, can't wait for more zombie stuff. If you want to check out my other Brick Tactical videos, click right up here or links will be down below. Be sure to leave a like if you haven't already liked the video and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And as always, thanks for watching.